the DP. That's what you guys are. And this is Josh with Deprived Productions and a ninth blueprinting tutorial on the Unreal Engine 4. A ninth one. We haven't touched blueprints in a while, and today we're going to create a real quick little fade plane kind of thing for your camera for the beginning of the game. It'll start black when you start the game, and it'll fade into translucency with a little, like, little spherical style, little old school cartoon porky pig style by F11. Alt-P, you can tell I'm using the third-person project, so I'm talking about just running around here. Now, if I escape in F11, you press G for gaming mode, you can see that I've got a little camera attached to my guy, and that's how it comes. I don't even need the DP folder. I'm just going to dump or jump right into the third-person character, and we'll dump, and we'll dump right into it. <clears throat> I got a cold, guys. I apologize. Here's the blueprints, all kind of cool stuff happening. Input and movement for the character, for, for the character and the controller and whatever not. We're going to go to the viewport. We got our we got our character, we got our we got our camera. Now here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just add a component. A static mesh component. Okay. And I'm gonna name it plane. I'm gonna name it plane just like that. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Name it plane just like that. Maybe it's close enough, okay? I'm doing the best I can. Now I'll type in plane down here where it says static mesh. And if you got the starter content, you can grab the shape plane right there, right? See the little little plane? I'm gonna drag it over, press space bar to change it to rotation, rotation, rotate it about right here. 90 degrees. Press space bar a couple more times, bring it back in, get a little closer. Get a little closer with it. And I think that's pretty good right about there. Maybe a little closer right there. Now we need to take the plane, drag it, and drop it on top of the camera. So now it is attached to the camera. So if I Move the camera. The plane will go with it. Yes, you know what I'm talking about. Let's toolbar, compile that, go back in here. F11, Alt P. Okay, so you can't you can't see anything because the plane's in the way. Now that's that's kind of a mess. Of course, it's got it's a material that's that's not unlit. It needs to be unlit, so there's no color. It needs to be black. There's all kinds of stuff we got to do. So let's jump into it. Let's let's right click right here, and uh, or left click whatever. Right click. I don't know. Material. We're gonna name it fade underscore plane fade plane okay is that say that's not that guys that's not it i didn't i didn't spell it right there we go boom fade plane now the thing is we're gonna double click on this bad baby and get started now we need to move it over into this window okay and i probably should have opened up my third person character and moved it over into that window we got windows for days bruh okay but we gotta do a couple things first things first we need to change this default lit to unlit okay no 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 light we need to change the opacity we need to change it to translucent because we're going to want to be able to see through it. And then we'll just click on this plane right here. Boom. Okay, we got our plane. Now let's move around here. If you click on the plane, you got to make sure you can see it. Okay, I see it right here. Now, so we can see what the plane is going to look like. Here's what we're going to do. Right click, type in radial gradient exponential. We've, we've worked with this before. You know what I'm talking about. Now the thing is, I want you to plug in opacity just by itself. Okay? You're going to see that little dot. We'll think, we'll drag another line. Type in one minus. Okay? Up, 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 boom, there it is. Plug that into opacity. We're going to get the opposite, the negative effect. That's kind of what we're doing. That's kind of what we're doing. Hold the number one, okay? Plug it into density. Set it to the number 10, okay? Let's make it real dense, okay? A little dense circle. That way it doesn't have the edges are a little more sharp. A little sharp, okay? You got sharper. Now I want, I want another another constant value. Hold the number one in the, in the radius, but we need it to be a parameter. So hold the letter S for a scalar. Plug it into radius. Don't name it S S S S. Name it fade. Okay. And we're gonna it's set to zero. Now check it out. If it's set to zero, it's that. If it's set to two, point two, okay. Point four, point six, one. Now, if it's one, look, it's completely translucent. If it's zero, look, it's completely black. And if it's point five, it's kind of in the middle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set it to black. Okay? It's gonna set it to zero. Set it to set it to the fade to be black, bro. Fade to black. Any Metallica fans out there? If you're not, get out. Now here's the thing. I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the the player character here. Go back to the the static mesh here, the stat of the plane right here, and to set its material, we can go right here and grab the fade plane and drag it over here and set it on there and boom, compile that. Now just to make sure everything's still working, we can F11 Alt P. Yes, nothing. And if I move around, nothing happens because the plane is attached to the camera. We needed to do stuff. Now that we got the plane on there, we got what we wanted to do. We need to affect that parameter. So now we get to go into the blueprint. So let's go back into the event graph of our blueprint here. Boom, we got all this nonsense. We don't care. We're gonna go down here and we're gonna type in event begin play after you right click. You gotta right click first, guys. We're gonna type in event begin play. Boom, there she is, event begin play. I got her, I got her, I found her. Now the thing is we need to do a couple things here. We need to grab, compile that, by the way. Go to our components and let's grab this plane because that's what we're actually affecting, right? Let's grab our plane and drag it in. Okay, so there's our plane with our material. Let's, 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 let's drag a line and type in create dynamic material instance. Now usually I just type in the word create and sometimes you'll find it, but if not create D, create dynamic material instance. And what we need to do 
It was we're basically taking the material we created. So we need to go back over here, grab it, fade plane, go in here. We're gonna take it, put it here. Now it knows to take this material and do something with it. So check it out. Let's drag this right here, return value. It knows what this is now, the source material. So now if we, we, grab, we drag return value out and type in set scalar parameter value. Now you're thinking, what? Remember the scalar we created that we named fade, right? And you can obviously just look back at your material and make sure that the scalar we created is fade. Boom, we're, we're basically going to set its value to what? Well, we wanna set it over time, right? Let's toolbar and compile, cause I get scared. I want you to drag a little, make a little room here. Right click, timeline, okay? Add a timeline here. We're not gonna name it right now. I'm just gonna drag this into play from start and drag update into this. But I'm gonna keep that blue wire, okay? And we need to double click on our timeline. We need to create a float track, okay? Just one single number. And then we're gonna set it to about, oh, four seconds, okay? Now I'm gonna, while we're in this canvas here, I want you to shift and click. Okay, we got the time and the value of this click. It's gonna be zero and zero, of course. We'll shift click again. At the, at the end, which is four seconds, we want it to be the max, which is one. And then we can click these two arrows right here. Boom, boom. And we can see our little, our, our little nonsense right there, brah. Okay, it's done. Boom, we got him. So that timeline now has a float track, which we could have named maybe fade or whatever, but we'll drag it down into this, okay? So there we got it. That's all we needed. So at the beginning of the game, it's gonna take the plane, that material we have on it, and timeline, use a timeline to make this scalar parameter we created go from zero to one over four seconds. Now we'll go back, F11, Alt-P. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> there's one little, one little problem. <laughs> You might have noticed the, 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 the middle, the middle of our, our circle is not really in the middle, but hey, we can fix that. We can fix that, right? We can go back into our, the viewport here, and it, you know, it's, it's a little low, you know, it's a little low, bro, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it up. I'm gonna bring it, actually I need to bring it down. I need to bring it down like that. And bring it down like right, right, right there. Let's compile and try it again, baby. Come back in here, F11, Alt P. Oh God, oh God, I went the wrong way, guys. I'm so sorry. I'm so, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back. We're gonna try this again. I'm gonna bring it up by right, 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 right there. Compile, get in there, don't fail. Oh ho, ho, and now it's just a little bit high, but Oh, 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 I fixed it. There we go. So if you, if you can check it out now, F11, Alt-P, every time we start, we got the little circle thing. Now, what I would do personally, just a little something else I would do, I'd go back into the event craft. And before any of this happens, I'd probably go right about here and type in delay. And all I'm literally doing there is kind of like giving it a little bit of time. So, you know, put event begin play into the delay, set it to maybe... Oh, 0.3 seconds, and then set that into it. So basically what's gonna happen now, obviously, is I'm, it's just gonna give me a little bit of a black screen, like boom, and then it kinda starts. So just, just a hair of black. Just a little hair of the black, you know what I'm talking about? And if you want a bigger black screen, just, you know, just do the, add a bigger delay, bro. I don't care. Do whatever you want. But yeah, guys, there you go. Just a little, little quick little thing. And then, and, and obviously what you'd want to do for anybody that uses this to their advantage, make sure you go to the plane here. Okay. Very important. Make sure you go to your plane. Actually, go over here to your, your plane and make sure it has no collision. Because the last thing you want to do is have this thing bumping around and everything. So you want to make sure you set your collision of this plane to where it doesn't touch anything. It should have no collision. It's literally just a fade plane. And that's what I call it. A little fade plane. It's basically there just to have camera tricks. Because you may want to fade it back out later. You know, you would just literally, I mean, think about it. I mean, think about how you would do that. I mean, it's actually pretty interesting. You literally go back here. We could do this. We could set, we could go back into our fade plane here and go to the go to the event graph and check it out. Let's see what happens if I plug this into reverse from end. Okay, there we go. So let's 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 con let's let's compile and go back and it's like, oh ho, ho nothing. Nothing happened. Oh God, oh, oh no, okay, okay. So you can kind of see what happened there. It kind of worked, but honestly, you gotta think the reason it took a little while to get to me is because the plane's kind of big, bro. You know, the camera's right here. That plane's kind of big, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm gonna fix that real quick before we break everything. But guys, yeah, man, hope you guys hope this made sense. Just a little little quick little quick tip, little quick trick, you know what I'm saying? Make it, make a little, make a little ta-da, you know, kind of action for your game. If it's kind of cartoony, I think it, feel like kind of feel like kind of works for the cartoony stuff, you know what I'm saying? Either way, guys, mess with it, have some fun. But yeah, just a fade plane. You can see it right there, bad baby. Right there, that bad baby. Don't be scared. Thank you guys for watching, man. Love you guys. Miss you guys. Josh here with the Pride Productions. A ninth blueprinting tutorial. We're always getting something done. Please subscribe to the Deprived Productions YouTube channel and check out all kind of crazy videos. We got almost 100 of them. There's all kind of cool stuff. Go hit the Facebook if you love me because I love you. Okay, please hit the Facebook, Deprived Productions. And also check out... 
um, our SoundCloud. There's all kind of music on there, and I'd love you guys to check it out. It's freaking sweet. So, yeah, the, the Deprived, capital D at the beginning, capital D at the end. It's freaking awesome. But, but, guys, if you have any questions about anything at all, just hit me up. Uh, feel free to get a hold of me on the uh, the Facebook page. It's definitely where I'm really easy to get a hold of, the Facebook Messaging Center, uh, whatever you want to call that. But, yeah, guys, love you. Miss you so much. Have a blast. Hope you learned something. If not, hit me up. I got all kind of answers. If you got all kind of questions, and if I don't have kind of, uh, if I don't have the answers, uh, well, that sucks. But I'll try my best. Until next time, peace.